Hey, what's up everybody? This is Daniel Sun. I am here today to tell you about Santel 33 by Lobo. First, I want to give a shout out because if it wasn't for my really, really, really good friend, Eve Dirac, in uh, Facebook land, I would have never had the opportunity to try this. So thank you, Eve, for giving me the opportunity to test this and sample this and review it. So thank you. First of all, um, this is a, she sent me a sample. It's like a 1.5 or something like that. It's a small sample. I actually put it in a little spray bottle so I could spray it instead. Let me give you some facts about this first, and then I'll tell you what I think about it. Santel 33, Eau de Parfum. Now, all the uh, Le Lobo fragrances have a number on it. That's the number of the ingredients that they use. Um, sometimes you'll go to the post and, and not see that many notes because they only list a certain amount of notes, but this actually has 33 ingredients in it so that's that's why the the uh, 33 is there and Santal is there because also each one of their fragrances has the name of the main accord or main note in the fragrance like this is Santal this means it has sandalwood in it and like uh, say violet 14 has the main note violet and it has like that amount of ingredients in it. So that's what that is. Lilobo stands for the lab. Um, it is American niche, very exclusive, very expensive. Um, come out in 2011. The perfumer is name is Frank. Uh, let me see if I can pronounce his name. Vocal, I think. Frank Vocal. Um, I might be mispronouncing that, but um, you can like check that out. You can like Google it or something. One thing I like about their company is they are pretty exclusive and they are very niche. They uh, you can't get them anywhere. Uh, most people actually have to go to their in store, their store that they have, and they don't have any products lined up on the counter, so you can just say, I want that one. They customize it there. So if you say you want Santal 33, they'll actually make it there in store for you and put a custom label on it with your name on it. And it's all like done in store. So I think that's pretty cool. I think that's a pretty cool idea of them to do that. Let me give you the notes. <clears throat> now, they, I got these notes off the official website so these are correct cardamom iris violet ambrox sandalwood papyrus cedarwood spices leather and musk now a lot of people i have heard say that they smell pickle juice and cucumber i do not get pickle juice or pickles or cucumber or anything like that at all um I think it's because maybe in the in the mid it sort of gets like a little bit of a sour um, smell to it. So I think that might be it. I'm not really sure. Um, I'll tell you what I get from this. And I've been wearing this. This is my... I've been wearing it four wearings. So this will be my fifth wearing. It's almost all completely gone. But, I'll tell you what I get. I'll tell you what. If you do not like woods or a wood note, do not get this because this is what this is. This is hardcore wood fragrance to me. Um, I get right off the bat that cedar wood. Um, I, I do not get cardamom, iris, I don't get any floral like the violet, I do not get sandalwood, even though 
that is supposed to be the main note is sandalwood. I don't get any sandalwood whatsoever in any stage of the life of the fragrance at all. Um, I don't get musk. The only thing I get is cedarwood, leather, and papyrus. And that's all I get, period. There's no sweetness. This is extremely a dry fragrance. Um, my first wearing, I didn't know what to think about it. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to keep wearing this and see what happens. So the second wearing, I didn't really care for it that much. And the third wearing, it's like, I, I felt exactly the same way. The fourth wearing, it's like, this is what I get. I get very dry wood, very dry leather. There's no sweetness. There's no nothing else. It's just a very dry, woody leather fragrance throughout the life of the fragrance during my wearing. Um, I wished... I wish there was a little bit of sweetness in here and I wish there was some kind of like some kind of notes to sort of like make it develop a little bit. This is a really linear fragrance. It doesn't change on my skin personally. This is just my personal experience. It doesn't change on my skin whatsoever. It stays dry cedar wood, dry papyrus, and dry leather. And papyrus actually is in the woods moss family in that group. And that's what most people smell when papyrus is in a fragrance is a dry woody fragrance. And so the only notes that I get in this are cedar wood, papyrus, and leather. And everything's really dry. Um... <clears throat> I am so, so lucky to get a chance to experience this and try this. But it's just not my cup of tea. It's it's not. I know there's a huge, huge following in Fragcom and all the celebrities are wearing it. And, and there's so much great talk about it, but it, I just, I don't know. I just, it's just not my cup of tea. Um, but I'm very, ex I was very excited to have the opportunity to try this because if it wasn't for Eve, I wouldn't have been able to try this. Do I think it's a bad fragrance? Absolutely not. The way I look at it, not every fragrance is going to be specifically for me. There's fragrances out there that people are going to like and fragrances that, I mean, there's such... A difference in personal taste and likes and stuff I know I know there's a lot of people who absolutely love this it's like their favorite fragrance but it's just not for me it's just not my style you know so but I am glad I had the opportunity to try this um, another thing the performance everybody that all the comments that I've read and all the reviews that I've listened to and watched, everybody's getting longevity between 12 and 24 hours. And I think that's amazing. But not on me. Um, usually fragrances do better on me with performance on me better than anybody else. But this on me, I don't know why. I've worked four different times and I get exactly the same thing. I get between six to eight hours. I'm not joking. And I always make sure my skin is moisturized. I use like moisturizing soap. Um, I don't know why that is, but I don't get any more max than eight hours longevity. And as far as the projection, massive amount of projection for about an hour and then that's it 
And I know a lot of people are saying that they get like four and five hours, you know, projection on this, but it, I don't know. It, it's just not working with my skin and my chemistry or DNA or something, but it's just not doing the same thing for me as it is for everybody else. And I'm not sure exactly why that is. But, um, another thing, um, Everybody's calling this unisex, and I think all fragrances are unisex. I think women can wear men's fragrances, men's fragrances, and vice versa. I don't think there's really... Men can only wear men's fragrances, and women can only wear women's fragrances. I don't believe that. I think anybody, if you like something, you should wear it, but... I am going to say this because I'm trying to describe, I have to label some fragrances to a certain extent to sort of like get people to understand my experience with it. A lot of people think this is, or say this is unisex, and I agree, but this leans way masculine. I think this is maybe one of the most masculine scents that I have or have ever tried. Very masculine in my opinion. Um, extremely woody, extremely leather, extremely dry. And I'm not saying women can't like that. I'm just, you know, trying to give you a description. Um, price on this. Very expensive. Um, a 15 milliliter or a 0.5 fluid ounce is $80. A 50 mil, which is 1.7 ounce, is $184. Um, 100 mil, which is 3.4 fluid ounces, 270. And if you want to go with a 500 mil, which is, uh, 10 fluid ounce, I think it's going to run you $1,000. So this is way out of my price range. Um, I appreciate it. I really do. I, I appreciate it a lot. For what it is and I admire the company a great deal Lolobo I like them and I really want to try other fragrances that, that that they create because I think they're a great company but it's just not for me um, and uh, all my reviews are going to be honest and I'm going to speak the truth about what I've experienced and what I think about it and I know a lot of people might not Mm, like this review maybe I don't know I shouldn't assume that but all my reviews are going to be 100% honest and I'm going to speak the truth about it so it is what it is but I admire this company I really do I think they're a great company but anyway that's it for my review on that I'm actually going to uh, wear this the rest of the day and uh, just experience it, even though I don't like love it that much. I think it's a pretty decent fragrance. But anyway, I'm going to do another review Saturday. So I'll let y'all pick. Um, if you want to pick out anything, I've already wore this uh, stash by Sarah Jessica Parker. This is starting to get some talk on Fracom. Um, I like that. Uh, Irish Leather Eau de Parfum by Memo Paris. This is another one that Eve, my good friend, sent me. I'm excited about this one, too. Um, L'Homme Le Intense Eau de Parfum by Yves Saint Laurent. Um, another one I'm excited to try. Joe Malone London. This is uh, Wood, Sage, and Sea Salt. That sounds actually really good. Byredo, Byredo Velvet Haze Eau de Parfum. I can do a review on that. And another Byredo Black Saffron Eau de Parfum, which I actually wore this one wearing, and it's I like it a lot. Anyway, that's it for my review, and I hope you got something from it. And I'll put the link in the description on where you can get this. And uh, leave a comment in the comment section if you have one of these fragrances that you want me to do Saturday. Anyway, I love you guys, 
and I'll talk to you all Saturday. Bye.